welcome back to the Sabo Academy. Today we're going to talk about the internal quality control procedures we put our components through. We have implemented three procedures. One concerns the control of incoming materials, another the control of the materials during the stages of assembly, the third and last concerns controls on finished materials in pre-delivery. These procedures comply with the regulations and guidelines of the ISO 9001 standard. We have in fact been awarded ISO 9001 quality certification by the prestigious accreditation body TUV. The inclusion of such procedures in our system allows, during incoming material checks, processing and pre-delivery, early identification of any defects or errors, thus eliminating all those problems that might have a significant impact on final product quality and the quality perceived by our customers. Suppliers are a key part of this quality control process. They are assessed and managed according to the parameters established in our supplier quality control guidelines. Semi-finished products arriving from suppliers are divided into critical and non-critical. Critical components are those which are functional and important to the project and therefore final product performance. Critical parts are, in turn, managed and controlled on reception according to well-defined procedures which establish that the proper dimensions and tolerances are observed. If items are found to be non-compliant, then a non-conforming product report is made and the suppliers are informed so that rejected material handling procedures can begin. Vice versa, semi-finished pieces that incoming material checks show to be compliant are sent to the production lines or placed in warehouses as per manufacturing requirements. Once pre-delivery testing of the semi-finished pieces has been completed at the Vicchio plant, they are sent on for final painting at the central facility in Castel Guelfo, where, once painted, they undergo further size and aesthetic checks to ensure that the requested final quality standards are complied with. Once our product has passed all the basic, functional and aesthetic checks, it is sent on to the warehouse facility where it is boxed. As already shown in the previous Academy episode, unboxing, the packaging material offers a good compromise between quality, that is effective protection of the product from knocks or damage and preservation of its aesthetic qualities, and cost so that it does not have any impact on the final price paid by the customer. 